making butter with my six quart daisy butter churn. And after only a couple minutes, the two quarts of heavy cream have greatly increased their volume. It's at the whipped cream stage. Gotta keep going. It's a bit more difficult now with it being whipped cream. And it's a heavily whipped cream stage. going and when it starts getting easier to turn again and it starts falling back down from its previous higher level you know you're almost there the butter will completely separate from the buttermilk and clump up on the sides almost there butter is separating and pretty soon it'll start splashing a lot of liquid again and butter will finish separating the second hard to turn stage you can see the butter little clumps and the milk is separating get your liquid bits just gotta keep churning it till the butter is in clumps then we can pour off the buttermilk and either add a little bit of salt and rinse the butter and get as much of the buttermilk out of the butter as possible it gets really hard to turn we can hear the uh, water and you're just going to be slapping the butter around until it loses most of that water. There's the butter. And the buttermilk. Got to pour off the buttermilk, leave the butter behind, then we can rinse it. And there's our buttermilk. Fairly large cup size. There's your butter ready for its first washing. Just put cold tap water in there, mix it about, it gets more of the buttermilk out, and do that a few times till the uh, water's pretty much clear. Here it is after the first washing. Here at Cooper's Dairy, we only sell the finest of artesian triple washed butter. That's a load of bull. Anyway, uh, I just wash it three times. There's always little pockets of buttermilk still in there, so it's got to be refrigerated. Uh, the salt will keep it fresh enough for a few days out of the fridge. Only take little bits out of the fridge uh, to soften up. After the second washing, I add an excess of salt. It's a lot of salt. The water I add will have a lot of that salt in it, so not as much salt gets into the butter. It usually turns out slightly less salted than store-bought butter. Third washing water stays fairly clear. Here's the butter, washed and drained, ready to transfer. The rain turned to snow. And this light accumulation shut down all of Nashville. And guess what? Coleman stove, she works. It's been about a minute. I'm supposed to turn this lever down.
Don't know what that does other than I guess it's ready to cook on. Suppose I ought to cook something on it. There's a fair amount of heat. Generally localized. Nice blue flame. Suppose I should light burner number two. Two flames. So I'm adjusting the right hand knob to give more fuel. I guess it's getting better. The uh, key on the side is really loose and floppy. And not much gas is getting over there, so I probably have to disassemble and clean. This one's burning just fine. Turn it down a little bit. Anyhow, let's go find something to cook. And melting some butter from this morning's exploits. And so, low flame, I need some light. Much better. Dinner is going to be a farm fresh egg, which pulled from the chicken coop this morning, and some venison marinated in some sort of steak sauce. I should have brought a spatula. Let me get more set up. Here, get you on a tripod so I can use both hands. It's super fancy. Try to stay out your way. It's low. Let's see what it does to an egg. Ooh, exciting. Give it a little bit more gas. Give you a little bit more light from above. Should be able to see that. Cook it up nicely. Get a little bit, I'll flip it over. Prefer my eggs easy over. I should try cooking some toast over it. I don't know what Coleman Field toast is going to taste like. Could be interesting. So. Nicely cooked. Here. Keep that out of the snow. The egg is going to freeze because it's been snowing out.
that stuff. just barely done. Get some of that. Something like that. Um, yeah, that's a win. I should see if it is done. Oh yeah. I call that medium. A little bit of pink in the middle, but thoroughly cooked. Always the last two. Won't make you watch the rest of it. But, uh, she works. Works well. And that fuel tank's empty. Been empty for a while. Don't keep flammable things near your flammable flames. Yup, I'm tired. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great day.